So the postures that I'm going to share with you now are called awkward pose and these postures are very effective at developing a number of um, skills within your body. <clears throat> Assets I should say, not, not skills. Uh, so these postures are more along the lines of strength training. So if you don't go to the gym, that's perfectly fine, nothing wrong with that. Uh, but it's very important to supplement your practice with other forms of exercise. Otherwise, muscles through habituation can become habituated to a particular practice and then their growth becomes stagnant. So I found these postures to be effective at helping me with uh, developing my quadriceps, developing the muscles surrounding my uh, knees, Quadriceps that I'm referring to are these muscles right here, the front part of the leg. Um, balance and stability, uh, definitely ankle strength. And as I show you these postures, what I want you to keep in mind is the uh, connection between the pelvic floor and the spine that uh, uh, Heinzee Stevenson has talked about for a long time, uh, Master Roka has talked about, Master Nishiyama, Master Cruz, and I want you to keep those same concepts in mind as I show you certain exercises to help develop strength within your legs and to develop balance. So there's two exercises. Uh, I'm going to show you them and talk you through them as well. So hopefully this video will come out clear. If not, uh, just let me know. Or if you have any questions, again, just reach out and let's see what clarification I can provide. So for this first posture, is what I want you to do. Stand hip distance. Make your feet look like the number 11. Your toes are pointing straight forward. Your heels are behind your toes. Your side profile looks like this. Shoulder, hip, heel. What I want you to do is bring your arms up, fingertips in line with the top of your shoulders. Keep your fingers pressed together. So you have the number 11 with your feet and your feet are again hip distance. From here, Stand on your toes as high as you can. Press down with your big toes. Keep your stomach sucked in. Lock your biceps, triceps, pectorals, shoulders. Come up as high as you can on your toes. And slowly sit down on top of your toes to keep your thighs parallel to the floor. Keep your arms where they are. Point your knees up in the ceiling. Press down on your toes. Keep your knees and hips at the same distance. Keep your spine straight, stomach in. After 10 seconds, slow the come up. Heels down. Bring your arms down by your side. That's a fun posture. You're going to have a lot of fun developing your ankle strength, coordinating your balance. Again, you keep your stomach sucked in as you come down. Engage all those muscles you do in the martial arts. <clears throat> no difference. Here's the second posture. You start the same way. Watch my heel. I'm going to come up on my heel and press my knees thighs together. From here, heels up, press the knees thighs together. Keep your knees thighs squeezed, pressed together. Keep fingertips and line with tops of shoulders. Keep your thighs parallel to the floor. Keep your knee, uh, fingertips and line with the tops of shoulders. You're creating a 90 degree angle with your torso and your thighs. Heel the off the floor. Keep your stomach sucked in. Keep your spine straight. Slowly come up. Slowly.
Oh, what is that about? Heels down, right foot to the left, arms by side. So, what I would encourage you to do is to practice that posture about three times a week, those two postures. Again, you're looking for stability, alignment, just as we do in the martial arts. Keeping your stomach sucked in. And uh, have fun with, this, with these postures. Again, they are about developing stability, leg strength, uh, coordinating upper and lower body, and especially ankle strength. We forget about the ankles in the martial arts. Foundation of our postures is the legs. If you can't grab the floor with your toes, uh, good luck with having effective technique. So I found these postures to be very helpful in developing ankle strength, leg strength, <coughs> and overall coordination of the body. All right, my friends, uh, with this, there's a lot more that I can explain when it comes to these postures. But let's just keep it simple for now. Have fun with this, and I'd love to hear uh, your experiences practicing these strengthening uh, and awkward postures. Mm -hmm.